I'm Kim. I'm the Humane Education Manager at Lollipop Farm. And I'm Nick. I'm the Behavior Manager at Lollipop Farm. So Nick, I asked you to come here today because I have some questions to ask you. Sure. About, about my foster dog. Um, the other day we were in the living room and we were playing with toys and whatnot and then he went over and he grabbed my slipper um, that was just sitting on the floor over there mm -hmm. and, and he was thinking it was a toy. I get it, he's a puppy. Um, but it was not something that I wanted him to chew on because it's my slipper, right? I don't want to yeah. wear it. So I, I tried to go take it from him and then I feel like I upset him a little bit because he, he kind of reacted in a way that made me feel a little uncomfortable. Long story short, the slipper, I just need to get a new pair of slippers at this point, but I'm wondering, is there, what should I have done differently or? So, so what did he do, Kim, when you tried to take the slipper? Well, you know, he's sitting there like chewing on it. It's got the tassels and yeah. whatever. And so I'm like, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. And I tried to reach for it. And then he kind of like looked at me and like growled a little bit, not like mean, mean, but just like, yeah. like, this is mine. And I was like, oh. So he's, he's probably starting to show us uh, what we call in the behavior world, resource guarding. Resource guarding. Yeah. So resource guarding is an instinctual behavior that all animals participate in. Okay. It's very deep rooted and it's a way that an animal has learned to survive. Okay. So what that is, is there's resources in the world right. and it can be anything from uh, a food, a toy, um, anything that that particular animal deems as a resource that okay. they want to keep. Uh, sometimes we see that with animals as like a bed. We see it with oh. toys. We see it with uh, certain people that they might be really attached to. Wow. So we see it a lot. But remember last week uh, when I was eating my popcorn and you got really hungry? No. Well, why don't we take a look at the, the I video? I don't know and what we're talking about. We'll see. Uh, There's a video? Oh, yeah. I, I, I videotaped oh. the, whole, the whole thing. Let's take a look. All right. Hey, what's up? Hey, Kim. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Ugh, oh. melon. That's really healthy. Yuck. I don't want any of this. Mm. Ooh, popcorn. Oh, I'm so happy you shared that with me because I was so hungry that day, and it's just really nice that you shared your popcorn with me. Well, Kim, if you, if you looked at my face there, I was, I was pretty upset. And I, I didn't want to share my popcorn with you. And when we think Wait, about... what? I'm sorry. Th it's okay. I, I, oh, I can I understand, but now. this is where we're going to talk about like your foster puppy okay. and the resource guarding. Okay, okay. So you can see in that video, you took that from me, and now my behavior might escalate the next time you try to take something from me. Because in the animal kingdom, okay. when you take something, that could be the difference between life and death for that animal. And that is why resource guarding is such a deep-rooted behavior. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is, that's really deep, Nick. So it is. And, you know, when I talked about escalating, I think a couple days later you came in and were trying to get some popcorn from me again. So why don't we watch this next video of our next interaction of you trying to steal my lunch again? Oh man, I did not realize that there was a camera in here. All right, let's take a look. All right, let's okay. watch. <laughs> Nick, what's up? Oh, hi Kim. How's your lunch break going? Oh, good, just eating some popcorn, playing on my phone. I like popcorn. Oh, I love popcorn. Oh, cool. Could I have some of your popcorn? Uh-uh. Why not? because it's my popcorn. There's more popcorn over there. But that popcorn smells so good. Can and I have some? No, you cannot have any of my popcorn. Please? This is my popcorn, Kim. Go get your own. Can I have some popcorn? No, Kim, there's more popcorn over there. I love there. popcorn, it's my favorite food. Can then I have some popcorn, Then go get some please? over there. This one, this is my hey, popcorn. Can I have some popcorn, please? No, it's my, it's my popcorn. Nick! Okay, okay. I think I get what you're saying. So because the first time I went in and I just took your popcorn and I didn't even ask you, yep. I just took it from you, which was kind of rude. 
Um, and then, so this time, when I asked permission, you were reluctant to try to share that with me because of what I did the time before? Yeah, and you can see kind of in the video as you kept asking me, you know, I moved away, mm -hmm. I had my popcorn, up to the point where I actually, you know, I, and I'm sorry for this, where I slapped your hand away. Mm -hmm. and, and we kind of see that with, with our dogs, with our puppies is, you know, they might start off with, you know, kind of looking at you mm -hmm. and kind of backing away like this. Then they might growl. And then the last thing they might do is they might actually bite you over wow. that resource. Yeah. So the real thing we got to think here, Kim, is, well, how do we get your slipper back yeah. in a way that will make your foster puppy feel better okay. and help him along with this resource guarding yeah. issue? And so what we want to do is we want to do a trade. So we want to find something that your puppy can have. Okay that is of equal or greater value okay. to your shoe, and we're gonna trade him for those options. Um, I think so if equal you, or greater value is like a toy or a treat or something that toy, they really like? A toy, a treat, could be, could be anything that animal deems as a equal or greater value. So it could be a toy, could be that tree. Okay. Um, you're gonna to have to kind of play it out. Each animal is gonna be a little bit different okay. in what they would like. Okay, so, I think that makes sense. Yeah, do you remember actually, uh, what was it? I think it was yesterday, you had some uh, Cheetos and I had oh. my popcorn. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, why don't we take a look at our, our lunch break from yesterday? Okay, let's do it. Hey Nick, what's up? Oh, not much, Kim, how How's are you? How's your day going? Pretty, pretty good. Cool, what do you, uh, what do you got for lunch? My popcorn. Let's do that. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I really like popcorn, Martin. I like popcorn too. These cheesy poofs, you know, they're all right, mm -hmm. but they're dangerously cheesy though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like Cheetos that are dangerously cheesy. Really? Uh huh, they're my favorite. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> you want to trade? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> well, they are dangerously cheesy. Mm, I love popcorn. <laughs> that was awesome. Remember that? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> but do you see the difference there, Kim, between the, the first video where you took stuff away from me? Yeah, it was rude. To this, like, I, I willingly it. gave up my, my popcorn for some dangerously cheesy Cheetos. It's valid. It's very valid. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I don't want someone to just walk in and take the thing that I'm enjoying and so so in the future if my puppy were to take something that they shouldn't i should grab something of equal or greater value and then trade them yep and that that is how we can overcome resource guarding and it's very very sufficient mm -hmm. and helps your puppy uh learn and grow with this issue and also keeps you and everybody else in the house safe okay so that makes sense to me but what about if the dog is, you know, trying to guard a person or a space in the house, or maybe what you're trying to trade isn't the ideal thing and they don't want to do the trade? What should I do then? Yeah, so for, for the space, what we'd want to do is we want to actively get the dog to leave that space. Okay. And for a person, what we'd want to do is you, the person, actively have to move away from the dog. However, those types of resource guarding, they're, they're much more severe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I would definitely recommend to you or to anybody out there to consult a trainer or a behaviorist in the area and get a professional view and opinion on, on that matter. Okay. Um, you know, here in the Rochester area, we have a lot of good trainers. Feel free to go to lollipop.org and go to our pet training tab on our website where we do have a list of recommended trainers in the area and get yourself some some behavioral help we also offer a pet peeves line here at lollipop that you can feel free to give us a call and talk to myself or one of our other uh, training staff members for help with resource guarding thank you that was really awesome for you to share all those really valuable resources for our community you're welcome kim Cool. And all of my friends at home, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Roll credits. Kim's theme song. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it.
Quack, quack, quack.